NanoPCM was a research project composed of eight industrial and research partners from five European countries. The main objective achieved was to develop and produce an innovative construction material to improve insulation in buildings. The NanoPCM project was focused on phase change materials. These are materials that can store 14 times more heat per unit volume than standard construction materials. This is why they are great materials for creating high-performance insulation components. NanoPCM uses nanotechnology to incorporate these phase change materials microcapsules to traditional building construction matrices. The main results of NanoPCM project was to develop and produce at semi-industrial scale energy storage insulation foams uh, able to reduce energy consumption in buildings. Uh, the manufacturing process developed uh, involves uh, low carbon footprint uh, processes and also involves uh, almost 100% recovery of the, of the materials involved in the synthesis. Uh, those uh, facts uh, will uh, be an added value for uh, building construction materials in, in buildings. The NanoPCM project is using four buildings for monitoring their thermal insulation solutions. Two installed in Warsaw, Poland, and two other mock-ups installed in Madrid, Spain. In both places, there is a standard mock-up where rigid PU foam panels were installed and another one using NanoPCM products. We have developed different kinds of energy storage insulation uh, foams and for that uh, we have used nanotechnology to improve the thermal properties. So we constructed several uh, prototypes uh, made by one or more layers and lab tests show that the innovative product can store five times the heat accumulated by traditional foam and can reach nine degrees uh, lower than the typical one. We have installed uh, the NanoPCM products in hot and cold climates uh, using the same procedure than installing the traditional foam. So we have, we have extracted from, from the demonstration activities at real scale that the NanoPCM product can fulfill the requirements of uh, building construction standards. Currently we are getting a really good results in terms of energy saves. And we expect that at building level, uh, the buildings uh, which will be using the NanoPCM product uh, will increase the efficiency by at least 12%. The procedure of making the microcapsule is based on the technique of the sprite drive. This technique is very easy to scale up, as has been uh, demonstrated in this project. One of the advantages of this technique is that Practically, no waste is generated at the end of the process. This process was checked out at the lab scale, and then in this project, NanoPCM was scaled up at pilot plan scale. 